Chris Groff here from Kruger School of Applied Technologies. In today's lesson in App Inventor, we're going to create a bridge quiz. So let's go to My Projects in New, and let's name this project Bridge Quiz. And in the first part of the video, we're going to be setting up the components as well as adding two variables to our app. Okay, so under title, let's type in bridge quiz. All right. First thing we need to do is get an image and drag it onto our phone here. And the image basically what it'll show a picture of the bridge and that'll correspond to whatever question that you put in for your bridge quiz underneath that we're gonna go to label and let's rename this question label you wanna make sure that you put the new name all together and then under text here on the properties for the question label type in question then go down to screen arrangement we're gonna add in a horizontal arrangement and underneath that we're gonna add in a label and a text box And you want to add this text box to the right of the label here. All right, so under label one, we're going to rename it answer prompt label. And let's rename our text box answer text. and then let's change the properties so let's select the answer prompt label and then under properties you're going to type in enter a letter answer and under the answer text under hint you're going to type in uh, please enter the correct letter there we go and if that's too long we can always change it later um, we'll just leave it like that for now let's get another label and drop it underneath that alignment and this is going to be renamed right wrong label make sure it's all together and it looks like that and then under the text for that type in correct slash incorrect so that's what the user will see and then once they press the submit button we'll change it up so it'll say correct or incorrect we'll have it the phone do that last thing we want to do is get another screen arrangement horizontal arrangement here and we're going to put in two buttons. So under basic, get your buttons. Select button one, and we're going to rename it the answer button. And under properties, where it says text, that is going to be, it's going to say submit. And then for button two, let's rename it next button and under that text type in next so we'll have our submit button to submit the answer and then the next button to go to the next question All right, and you want to open up the blocks editor and we're going to start adding behaviors to our components we're going to start we're basically going to make a question list and an answer list. Okay, while that's starting up, um, 
I'm going to pause this. All right, so your emulator should be up. We're going to do we're going to create two variables in this last part of the video. So you want to go to built-in definition and drag out two of those or you can do control C and control V. The first one is going to be called question list. And the second one is going to be called answer list. All right, so on our question list you want to go to built in and lists and we are going to select the one that says call make a list and we can copy and paste that one because we are going to have a question list and an answer list and then for the item you're going to need to go to built in and text and on the text part here is where you're going to put your question and we can copy this one and down here on the answer list is where you're going to put your answer. So we're going to do, you guys are going to create six questions. And we're going to do the first one together. So what you need to do here is you're going to log into Moodle. And you're going to scroll down to where it says integrated project number four. This is going to be y'all's checkpoint for your integrated project. And there's two websites here. The first one is called list of longest suspension bridge spans and the second one is list of longest bridges in the world. So you can use both of these and you're going to use these to create your questions. Alright so it gives you a list of the longest suspension bridges in the world. Click on that again here. All right, so we could ask a question like, how long is the bridge, or what year did it open, or where is it located? You just need to come up with six questions. So let's do the first one. Let's type in this name here, Akashi Kayo Bridge, and let's ask what it, well, let's do this. Let's um, ask what is the longest suspension bridge in the world? So under text here, you're going to type in, what is the longest suspension bridge in the world? And then you'll list your answers. Okay, so I copied that one. And let's do this. Let's do, basically what you can do is you just left click and drag and highlight and then do control C here to copy and then over here you gotta kinda click on it and then do control V and paste it in so we're doing multiple choice I will let you guys do two true and false if you'd like um, the other three need to be multiple choice so I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to go back. And I'm just using control C and control V to copy and paste. Control C, I'm going to go back here. Control V. All right, so once you have your question in there, and let's try to keep the length short as you can. I know it's hard. Uh, once you have that, then you need to go to the answer list. And the answer list is rigid. Uh, it, it's not going to be very forgiving. So if our answer is A, you need to type in A. Now on our phone, think about this. When you type in capital A or A period, uh, it's going to mark it as incorrect. Okay, and I've gotten away from typing in the whole uh, name of the bridge because that would just be way too hard. That's why we set it up so that we want them to type in the answer choice. Okay, so basically your job now, you can shut off the video and you want to type in 
five more questions and five more answers. And it should just be like this. I would leave the letter lowercase, okay? And once you have those six questions, you can come get my attention and I will give you a grade for this first part.